preparing the ecclesiastical deed poll, click on that link and the new document should come up. Okay, great. Thank you. I'll I'll find that and insert that. Thank you. Great, thanks. Lynn. Oh, one one more question and uh Iris touched on it. Um if if you're in a situation where the two would just aren't going to be available, can you consider anyone you know elsewhere that's like minded your two? And can well, you I'll do, uh, I'll, can I'll you do one better than that. I'll do one better than that. I think we, we should we should uh we should do one or the other. Either you have someone in your community so that it is local notorial procedure or or we will get international notorial procedure by having people in other countries um, uh, become witnesses to it. Yeah? Because uh, the, the or interstate at least. Okay, um, interstate would work. Okay, good. Interstate. Now, what happens when you have an interstate witness is that this will be a different approach. There will be some different steps. For example, uh, there will need to be a, um, uh, effectively a certificate of identification, something that identifies just with a photo the, the, um, the uh, sender and that the witness confirms that they know this to be the person, only because if you're not on the ground... If you're in another state, you, you then have to prove in notorial procedure that you that it is the right person. Simply because the presumption is, I could say, I'm Franco Collins and I'm Fred Blair or something. Yeah. So there's a couple of extra steps that will come in, but there is definitely an op opportunity to do an interstate witness or a international witness, and I think we should explore both of those as well. All right. Great, thank you. Thanks, Lynn. Thanks, Lynn. Uh, we got another question up. Uh, I believe it's from, uh, is it Iris, uh, A Better Way? Hi. And we have a... a... Hi. You're, you're on. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, could you go over um, the meaning of the Secretary slash Minister of Health? Is that is that the title only changing, and would we still send it to the same address we had used before? No, no. What's happening now? Um, you are writing these to the national offices. Um, you're writing these to the offices of the nation, and you are bypassing the registrar role entirely and that's not clear yet in the notes because we've done these updates but the point is that we want to um, move from sending this to a registrar at a state level that is totally dishonoring it to writing to the known address of the Secretary of Health or the Secretary of the Treasury or the Attorney General the US Attorney General in Washington these all will be roles within Washington DC yeah Okay, okay. And one more qu quick question, please. When, um, how do we, can you just give us like a little mm, clarification on how we would transition, you know, um, from using, let's say, our trust number and just dealing with di different entities that we have to deal with just in normal life? For instance, sure. you know, like utilities or our job well, payroll and things like that. Well, for example, um, just because the IRS may not have recognized your trust number doesn't mean you can't go to the right to the department the um the department of transport vehicles and go down to the get your um license but there's your trust number um the same applies to anyone that's uh offering a benefit is that you have the opportunity to use your trust number when you send mail you have the opportunity on the front of every mail to say trust recipient number and put your address so that when mail is sent to you or returned to you, you've got um, proof of commercial transactions. Once you've got proof of commercial transactions of the trust, 
this is proof that the trust is um, is functioning and operating. So the, the whole point about having your trust and having your trust number, and the only reason we say trust recipient number rather than, than you know, Frank O'Collins, is that until the system relinquishes its claim over the name, the use of the name by them is seen as a reinforcement of their right over us. That's the only reason. So I, I would be using the trust number on everything. And uh, and if they deny, well, then you say, well, why do you deny? And they say, well, we only register a social security number. And, and I would, you know, I would push and say, well, um, is the benefit excluded to people, you know, born on born on the land and show them the live born record? And, and let's perfect this. There is no reason, given that the whole concept of motor vehicles is about placing an administrative barrier over common law rights, yes? The right to travel, yes? Right. So Department of Motor Vehicles and everything is about applying administrative controls over common law rights. Would you agree? Yeah. Okay. Well, then let's, let's use the trust number to, to challenge them. I mean, I know that people have gone the other way and said, I don't need plates and I don't need a license. And of course, it's resulted in people going to prison and being tased and all this kind of stuff. Let's go the other way. Let's say, here's my trust number. All right, you want to issue licenses? Fair enough. Um, here's, my, here's my bond. You won't do it unless there's insurance. Fine, here's my insurance. Now. What's the objection? Oh, well, we've never done it before. Okay. Whatever the objection is, let's work it out. But I'm here to do it properly. You want me to have a license, I'll get a license. You want me to have plates, I'll have a plate. But I'm, I'm not going to, um, in the process of uh, obtaining all these bits and pieces you want, cede my rights. Okay. Fair enough? Okay, so you're saying that um, we're able to use that bond a number as insurance? That's what it's there for. Oh, okay. There is, there is no government department that normally will permit the acceptance of an external registration without the associated insurance. Their argument every time of why they do not accept an external number from an external society is the absence of insurance. All their system is based on liability, right? Okay. Okay, well, thank you so much. Good. Right. Thank you. Great. Thank you so much. Uh, we have time for probably just a couple more questions. Uh, so uh, we have Forben. Uh, Forben, you're up. Hello. Hi. Uh, looks like uh, he's uh, he's not on. I'll take the next uh, one in queue, and uh, we have Darlene. Darlene. Hello. Hi. 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 I have a quick question. I just heard the last question as far as the identification, or if you can go down to the um, um, Department of Motor Vehicle and use your um, trust number and the bond number. Well, I'm in the process of applying for a passport, and I wanted to know how long will it be before that kind of information is posted for Eucadia site, website? Well, I think the, the, key, the key thing that we want to transition is at the moment we're still, as you know, we're still islands. We're not yet communities. Mm-hmm. And the thing about passports that, that, that I want to... Um, I don't want to encourage a, a, a solution on passports before the community model is established because the passport is a double-edged sword. The, in their system, without a passport, you can't get off the reservation. You can't change. You can't travel to another plantation. Yeah? Okay. Um, so no. so what, we, what we want to do is we want the... Passports to be recognised from a society to society treaty and not from an individual into their system 
there's a couple of steps before we do that. Uh, so I understand you're applying at the moment, but the short answer, which I should have given you at the start, is we're still a few weeks away from being able to provide well, I, that solution. I can hold off. I just need to at least have it before um, November of this. Oh, we'll definitely year. have something before. Definitely have something before then. Okay, thanks. Thanks so much, darling. Uh, we've got time for one last question, and we're going to go to Cosmic Thought. Uh, Cosmic Thought, you're on with Frank. Hello. Hi. Hey, Frank. It's a magic bullet named Ryan. How you doing? Hi. Good. Uh, good to talk to you. Um, I, uh, I I really love these new changes that have, that you've made. Um, It'll, it's a little bit uh, too late for me to issue those to the uh, to the clerk of courts. I've got my uh, last and final, finally, uh, court date coming up for uh, a week from today. And I am actually, as it feels to say, actually kind of uh, excited about going in. Well, not excited, but <laughs> I'm uh, looking forward to going in the, in the court because I feel so confident in my confidence in, uh, in all of this. Now, I uh, received back um, the little green slip in certified mail um, confirming that uh, the court EDP, up until the most recent change you've just made, um, was received by the clerk of courts. And so uh, I will be able to follow the how to succeed in court court examples <clears throat> to the you know to the letter um, in my ability to hand the documents, copies of the documents that were received by the clerk of court, um, like you put in the examples there. And uh, I was, um, well, I was curious about um, about the new uh, deed of restitution. Uh, one, uh, so I guess I've got a couple of questions real quick, just one being, um, is that, well, First of all, I, mean, I guess it's the, I feel good that I could walk in and say, oh, by the way, I also have issued uh, documentation to the U.S. Attorney General and President, Secretary of State, Secretary of Treasury. At the bottom where it says CC, like carbon copy, does that mean that we would have to actually make um, a separate living document and send it to each one of those offices? Yeah. Yeah, so you, you you would. I mean, that's the thing. So that's why you want to make a copy of the BC rather than sending, you know, obviously, you know, paying for four. I don't know if they'd give, give you four copies. They probably would, but, you know, you don't want to be paying money for that. But the short answer is yes. Okay. Okay, good. Um, and I also want to say I'm very glad that, that uh, a couple of a couple of callers ago asked the, the question about, because I was going to ask the same question about the um, – you know, when it says Minister of Health, and is that not the registrar? And you said no, which is great because, if you recall, I um, kind of went beyond the bounds and tried to make some sure. courteous phone calls and whatnot, and you said I kind of put a stop in my ability to, to, you know, keep going with that route. But if we're sending it to a higher authority than just the registrar of the county of our birth, then that means that I can sort of restart that process. Yes. Which is great. Yes, you can. Um, now, of course, the stuff that I sent to the clerk of court um, was I was following strictly the most recent examples up until the changes you've made just in the last day or two, which included copies of the original of the documents that I sent to the registrar where I was born. Yep. But um, I just I think that's wonderful. Uh, I think that was going to be a question, but I guess I don't need to ask that if somebody else did now. But um, thank you. And it's, I, I'm I'm so excited about all this, and and I think I can speak for for everybody else <laughs> I hope, uh, in in saying that we uh, we're all very very thankful uh, for all of this, and and uh, I feel fantastic. I feel wonderful. I, I'm in a better place now, both uh, emotionally and uh, mentally and physically, and I'm just ready to go. <laughs> all right. Well. This is the thing. It's it's the thing that they control us by is fear. The thing that yeah. they entrap us by is, is getting us to believe that we're incompetent, that we're less, that that things will never change. They want us to feel hopeless. They want us to lead us along, and then 
rip the rug from under us because they need the psychological twist, they need the flick, 